Dear students of class 8A and 8B, welcome to this civics class. Today's chapter is chapter number 2, topic is Union Executive, points are as mentioned. First point, emergency powers of the President of India and in terms of this emergency power, I am going to uh, talk, teach you uh, article uh, of three types, article 352. Article 356, Article 360, and then I shall teach you about the discretionary powers of the President of India. Now, first one, emergency powers of the President. What are the emergency powers of the President? Now, there are some emergency powers of the President. What are these? The President can execute a number of emergency powers under the constitutional procedure. And as per the articles mentioned in the Constitution, the President of India uh, can enjoy some powers. And these powers depends on, depend on the articles of different types, of different nature. These articles are mentioned in the Constitution with a view to provide certain, uh, you know, powers and certain, in, certain rights, special rights to the President of India for his, for, for his or her enjoyment. And this is, uh, this is known as, these are known as emergency powers of the president. Number one, article number 352. What is this? Article number 352 is a special article under whose terms the president can declare national emergency throughout the country. Now, what is the reason the president can declare national emergency? The president can declare the national emergency in order to, uh, you know, uh, in order to curb the external threats of any neighboring countries, the external aggression of any neighboring countries or any countries of the world, and in order to check outbreak of armed rebellion or in case of a war, the president can declare national emergency throughout the country. And next one, article number 356. Now, what is the importance of article number 356? Under the article number 356, the president can declare constitutional emergency in the country. Constitutional emergency. Now, why is it whenever the constitutional machinery is broken down, the country uh, different state, countries, different states cannot administer uh, 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 the perfect, can, can, cannot, cannot administer perfectly. In that case, under the report of the governor of the respective state, the president can declare a constitutional emergency throughout the country. Not throughout the country, constitutional emergency for any state under whose report the president, uh, you know, suggested to be declared constitutional emergency only, only to that particular state the president can declare constitutional emergency. But it is depending on the nature of report of the governor sent to the office of the president. So, next one, under article number 360. Now, what is the importance of article number 360? Article, article number 360 has an importance, has some importance. What is this? Financial emergency caused by threat. Financial emergency caused by threat to the financial stability of India. That means whenever the financial stability of India is uh, threatened, the financial stability of India, financial stability of India is, you know, uh, is uh, broken down, is broken down. In that case, the president under article number 300, article 360 can declare financial emergency throughout the country. So these are the most important powers. And who, what type of powers? This is, these are emergency powers of the president. The president can enjoy, the president can uh, declare, the president can use this emergency power, especially when country goes uh, under threat, country goes under financial instability, country goes under 
constitutional uh, machinery, uh, constitutional breakdown of machinery. Only in that particular cases, the president can declare, uh, you know, uh, 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 emergency, national emergency, constitutional emergency, and uh, financial emergency in the country. Now, what the president also has some discretionary powers. The president also have some has some discretionary powers. Now, what are the discretionary powers of the president? The president plays an important role in the parliamentary system of India. The president plays an important role in the parliamentary system of India when a coalition party state stake their claim to form the government. The president then use his or her discretion and judgment to select to select a leader to lead the nation as the prime minister and to provide national stability. That means sometimes the president plays an uh, plays an important role and that role is out, uh, uh, undoubtedly a very important role on the part of the president of india especially when the uh, crisis period arises suppose one political party cannot get uh, you know full majority in the country state election means uh, state election or suppose general election is held throughout the country but after general election it is seen that we saw that no political party got two-third majority and there was a possibility of forming a coalition government in the country coalition government especially when the coalition government is going to be formed the president's role is very important. In that case, the president has to uh, use his presence of mind. The president has to apply his intelligence. And he has to choose a correct person. The person who is the leader of uh, each and every political, uh, political party. And the party that that very political party who has uh, gained uh, comparatively better seats than others. Only this political party should be given chance uh, and the, the leader of this political party is uh, should be invited by the president uh, to be the prime minister of india and the president of india follows this system generally uh, the leader of a political party that very political party has uh, has occupied many seats than other political parties in that case that very political party's leader is asked, is requested or is invited by the president of India to take an oath as the prime minister of India. So these are the discretionary powers of the president. The discretionary powers of the, the president then use his or her discretionary judgment and then he chooses a person to be the prime minister of India. Then the prime minister can take an oath as the prime minister of our country. So these are the discretionary powers of the president. And uh, presidents, besides these discretionary powers, the president's role is important at the time when coalition government is formed throughout the country. Coalition government is formed because one coalition government is formed, but after a few months later at the coalition government, uh, many, you know, uh, political parties who, uh, who gave their support and then a coalition government is formed so suddenly they withdrew their support from that from that uh, coalition government in that case the government uh, would be unable uh, to prove their majority in the house and in the house in in front of the speaker in the house the uh, that very political coalition government has to withdraw uh, the the, uh, the the in front of the speaker the poli that very political party or that very coalition government has to prove whether they has they have majority support of different political parties if they fail to prove it and uh, if it is proved that that very government has no uh, uh, support of political parties in that case the government including you know, including prime, uh, the prime minister, including all uh, council of ministers are supposed to uh, resign, are supposed to resign. And the government uh, fails to prove 
in that case another coalition possibility of another possibility of forming another coalition government is required in that case the possibility of forming another coalition government is required and once again the the role of president is important president once president once again uh, invites the leaders of different political parties and decide uh, who is going to be the leader of the coalition government next time and in that case how many political parties are going to support that very uh, uh, that very uh, party and uh, a coalition government is going to be formed in the center then the president initially the president uh, tries to make it sure whether uh, a political a coalition government should be formed or uh, they should avoid another general election because conducting one general election uh, means uh, expenditure of huge amount uh, that's why in order to avoid this much amount of expenditure huge amount of expenditure uh, president generally tries his level best to form another another coalition government in order to avoid huge amount of expenditure and other general general election so by this way the president plays an important role in forming coalition government coalition government can be formed temporarily or it depends on the nature of support of different political parties for that very particular particular party who forms the government but generally all political parties uh, they unanimously decides what to do and what not to do that's why the role of prime minister is very important if prime minister applies can apply his presence of mind and can tactfully manage other political parties under whose support the coalition government already uh, has been formed in that case there is no contradiction with other political parties no confrontation with others and in that case the coalition government is able to complete its normal tenure means five years that's why the role of the president uh, is very important so these are the discretionary powers of the president of india up to this my dear students next day other points will be explained thank you